Hey everybody, I wanted to do my daily video today. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I actually thought about doing one that I still might do of me getting out my um, my drill, like my kind of power drill, and trying to fix the light switch in my bathroom. Um, Cause I do know how to do that sort of stuff and I don't know, I'm a DIY person, so I thought maybe you guys might enjoy seeing that. But um, as it stands, it's just not gonna work out for the plans for today. And I've had on my list of YouTube videos that I want to do um, an update video on like my planner wallet or just like my planner setup. Um, if you are new to my channel um, or I don't know, you've been you've been just kind of a subscriber for a while, you might know that I really, really, really love planning like a lot, like a whole lot. Um, and anyone who knows me in real life knows how into my planner and planning I am. So. Um, the last time I did a setup video was I think way back in like January or February when I was still working like an outside the home job and now I'm working from home. I'm doing the work from home mom thing and like the stay at home mom, homeschool mom thing. So um, I've made a lot of changes in my planner that's right here. I'm using this and then I'm using another planner that I don't know that I can show you in this video just because I have to do some things, some things with it because it's like my work planner. But this is what I consider to be kind of my all-in-one on-the-go planner wallet um, that, I mean, it literally just kind of has everything in it. I show snapshots of this on my Instagram accounts. I have two of them. And um, if you want to see kind of the updates and how I'm using this to really kind of have planner peace and to make my planner work for me versus um, me working for my planner, um, then stick around for the video and I'll do my very best to explain to you what I'm currently doing in my planner, planner wallet. So let's go ahead and watch the video. So this is what I'm currently using for my planner. And this is a Filofax Austerly that I got pre-loved on eBay for a really good price. It was kind of my like unicorn planner for a really long time. Um, it it appears maybe a little bit like a personal size planner, but it's actually called a compact size. Um, and it's basically kind of like the look and the feel of like a long kind of a wallet. And I use this as a wallet and a planner. Um, I like it because it is open, it doesn't zip all the way around. I've seen people use the Kate Spade agendas, and I just, I, I have a hard time with the whole like kind of enclosing it entirely. So um, this has a, they call it a popper, and this style and this print it's called plum this was retired uh, a good while ago but i just really really love it i think it looks really elegant really classy functional as much as fashionable and um, i really really like it i don't have a personal size filofax um, right off to kind of like show you i do have a kiki k here to show you so that you can see just the difference but you can see just how much larger this kiki k medium is compared to this it's it's pretty considerable um, and i just like doing kind of minimal sort of travel or just having a smaller purse um, it's easier for me, especially in the summertime. Um, so I, that's why I really like this. Uh, Filofax is coming out with a croc style, um, kind of, it, it doesn't have the imprinted button the way that it has here, but they are coming out, or they did come out with like a croc style print um, that looks very similar to this that was retired a number of years ago. So um, this is what I use, and sometimes I just carry this and like my phone. Um, and I like that it's very low profile and it has small rings and it's pretty solid. It's also really flexible, it lays flat. Um, and a lot of what I'm gonna show you in here is stuff that I sell in my Etsy store as much as I have just like DIY made on my own. So um, something, some of the features of this is it has credit card pockets here and then here are some pockets here in the back. Um, it also has two pen loops, which I really, really like. This is one of my favorite pens to use and it is a U Brands pen. Um, this is a pen that they did sell at Target for a while and then they just stopped. Um, U Brands is still a company that's around. You can order direct from them. I tag them all the time on Instagram and they like my pictures, which is kind of fun. This is a flare pen in just like purple. Um, clearly I have a thing for purple lately, so it's kind of why I have everything like that. But I really like how the um, cards kind of the card pockets dip down like that there. Um, and this is a, a dashboard that I made. I have kind of like a double dashboard. I have to kind of clean this up. But um, 
that's kind of like what I'm doing. I don't have very many dividers and I have to fix them. I'm going to be trying to make new dividers um, this weekend. These are just some old kind of Kiki K dividers that I've been using. Um, and I'm going to make some div dividers this weekend and also show you how easy it is to make dividers. So um, this is just like, um, I, I actually like the idea of using dashboards as um, dividers instead of having dividers just because these are just a lot more solid and you can kind of pop these in and out. So, so there is that. So um, what I really, really like to do when I do planning is I like to do something that is vertical. And these are inserts that I designed myself. This is what they look like without anything on them. And I've shown this before. These are inserts that I spent a lot of time um, designing myself. Um, these are an original design. I had never seen anything like this and I just really, really like them. Um, I, I like vertical planning. I like being able to write everything. Um, I like using planner stickers, um, clearly. I like things to be colorful, and I like this just because the rings don't get a, get um, in the way for me when I'm kind of trying to like write things down and check things off. Um, another great thing about this planner is I can I can actually fold it back like this. So if I want to, I can like hold it like this, but, but this works just fine. So um, this is how I typically do planning. Um, and again, let me just show you a little bit of what like a bare page looks like. I will strip the inner gutters with washi tape of whatever kind that I like. Um, I like to get washi samples sometimes. This is a little bit of what like a washi sample looks like. Um, I'll get them from friends like planner friends or whatever or um, if I have like a Michaels coupon then I'll get kind of um, washi strips but or I'm sorry washi tape but I will typically strip the inner edge and then what I will do is I will I will cut there so then I can pop the pages in and out very very easily and you can see that they don't come out very easily at all they're really in there and you can just pop them in pop them out and um, I have a lot of different types of planner stickers that I like to use I have a lot of um, just like sticker shops that I've ordered from and um, I eventually am going to try and do planner sticker love downs on like every planner sticker shop that I've ever tried that I really really like but um, this is just generally how I like to do planning. Um, here is another kind of a layout of what I do sometimes with like, sometimes I will skip a week. So this would be like a week here. And sometimes I will skip a week and then I will use just kind of like the, the week that I otherwise would skip and I will color code it so that I will have like a column for me, a column for my daughter, a column for my husband. Um, one for YouTube for me to like track that information even though I track it someplace else this is just so I can kind of like a little bit of like brain dump or just kind of like visually think through think through things a column for just stuff of home um, I love weekend banners so much um, this one is especially creative um, and you know one for Etsy listings or stuff that I'm doing so um, so these inserts are really, really nice and kind of they have a lot of range. You can relabel them very easily and these are just functional planning labels and you can just look up functional planning stickers just on Etsy and find all sorts of people. You can get printables, which is really nice, or you can even relabel it with just washi tape. That works as well. Um, and I can do a video maybe on just kind of like a little bit of a plan with me. I don't know. Um, this is <laughs> this is what um, just a page looks like without any stickers on it. And I really, really like quote stickers. This is from Michael's Recollections. And so um, like sometimes I'll put a quote sticker. This is from Mombi, um, the happy planner kind of books and stuff. Um, and sometimes I'll put a quote sticker there and sometimes I just like won't. Like for example, um, like here, you know, so it just really depends upon what my work looks like or my work week looks like or just like I don't know This is a little bit of like on the go sort of planning um, Here is another kind of planner page layout that I showed on my Instagram and I also did the planner sticker love down these are all um, hex icon later uh, stickers from my friend planning love so if you haven't seen the last planner sticker love down you want to take a look at that because there's a coupon code in there and so I really like to do something I call fashionable and functional planning oh look there is the planner sticker love down stuff um, but what I like to do is I like to take 
um, kind of seasonal washi tape or just washi tape that I really like. And then I like to divide up the space with headers that coordinate and match with the washi tape. Um, here is Nicole Hutch designs, and this is almost entirely Nicole Hutch designs, um, even the headers and things. And I did a planner sticker love down on her um, shop. And then, you know, I'll skip a week. And sometimes I have things, things like printed and like some of these are just um, like extra inserts that I kind of have. And sometimes I don't have anything printed and I could, I could write things on here. Or I could put like um, the Polaroid kind of sticker, sticker pictures or whatever in there, which is kind of nice for like memory keeping. Here is some Dumbo washi tape. And at this point, like it's taken me a little while for me to figure out what I wanna do in terms of like my kind of home life or just like work at home mom thing. And it's, it's taken me a little while to figure out what my schedule is gonna be and everything. But at this point, I pretty much know generally what a week looks like. And so I kind of use this for home and sometimes kind of business planning. I have a whole business planner. Here is some Van Gogh washi tape. And then I just tried to pick headers that just go along with the general um, color palette, like the boldness of that. And here is a um, Harry Potter quote sticker here. Like I said, I like to put a quote sticker over here if I can. There's a Dumbo one. Um, and let's see here. Let me see if I can show you just kind of like any more. Um, this one doesn't have any icons or anything, but this is Snoopy washi tape, which I thought was really, really cute. I got this as um, a washi sample from someone in Hawaii. Um, I ordered on Etsy, it was just like a dollar or something. And then here, this is Michael's Recollections, and these are neutral headers. Um, and this is just generally how I do planning, just on a weekly basis. And like I said, you can, you can just relabel these. Um, like here is an example, back here. Um, you can relabel them to do a little bit of like home life sort of planning. So, um, so there's that. Um, and then the only other section that I have, uh, I have two sections. I have like a note section. And what I did is I took an old Erin Condren planner and I have a tutorial on this and I'll try and link that in the down bar where I just took old inserts that were dated and I make these notes pages that are kind of like all kind of flip and foldable. Um, and I do that for, for notes, any notes that I might wanna make. So here's like an example, kind of like some notes. That, this is this is like a notes page from Hourly. This is from like a horizontal. And I just relabel it and cover it up. And the same thing, I washi the inner, the inner edge and then I cut the holes so then I can kind of pop them in and out. And that's not going anywhere. And then the only other section that I have is I have a um, monthly planning section here. These are not available yet in my Etsy shop, but I'm working on making them available. And I have sold some of these just because people have seen them on kind of like my other, um, they've seen them in, in my other videos and things and they've asked about them or I've done like kind of planner diagnostics helping people to set up their planners. So they've asked about them. So I have made like reserve listings or they just buy them directly from me, like through PayPal. And I put together a whole kind of planner package for them. Down here, I use this grid paper as like notes or kind of like bullet journaling to correspond with here. Like if I have to call the electric company or if I have to get some kind of a, I don't know, like service or just finance stuff. Um, but these are stickers here from Planner Kate. And this is what they look like here. And these again are just punched. And then I just cut the hole so that I can just pop them in and out. These are great for functional planning and just color coding, which is clearly what I do. You could use skinny washi tape, but, um, but this works just fine. Also just fitting right in my planner there. And um, these calendars here, um, I just put page flags here. And I use that as a way to just kind of like do notes. Like if you don't have that there, you'll see they're not they're not numbered. I hand numbered all of them, and I have found I don't know. I also kind of color coded, kind of tried to coordinate them with like kind of the month. And um, I have found that by numbering things, um, doing things undated, and then me numbering them, it just kind of helps me. It's a little bit of like DIY planning, and it just kind of helps me to stay a little bit more on my kind of planner game, like remembering things. Me handwriting things out just makes a world of a difference. And you can use the icon kind of um, planner stickers and things that's from Planning Love, um, that traveler sticker book that I use. 
um, and I talked about in my last kind of planner sticker love down and here is some more like here's another kind of Erin Condren note page and my daughter made me a picture so this pops in and out and um, you know I I love having these these note pages in here so that my daughter can do things like draw me pictures and things and then I can just kind of keep them in there and so in the back I just I have these Planner Kate um, kind of sticker inserts a little bit and um, that's basically it. That's my planner setup. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I don't carry like a ton of personal information or um, like medical information or anything. Um, I have what I have is I have a Kiki K here that I got on kind of like major clearance and then I use like vouchers and things. And so what I will do is I will kind of like archive my pages over here. I'll like move them kind of back and forth as I need to. And um, these are all just kind of like pre-prepped, pre-dated pages. Um, and these are some Mombi stickers. Um, here is another just kind of like pre-paired like I can use these for notes if I want to. And these, again, are just pop them right in and out. So um, what I will do is I will sit and do like kind of a like a planning session, I guess you could say, or like prep my pages. Here's some Nicole Hutch designs that I've also talked about in the Planner Sticker Love Down. And these are planner inserts. These are Creating & Co. I like these as well. Um, these fit for my monthly boxes, which are back here see here you can see that's like creating and co monthly planning um, for planner stickers here's some more planner Kate so I just kind of use this here as a little bit of like kind of an archive binder and um, what I do is I will um, I will just prepare I will batch prep my weekly pages I will strip the inner edges with um, like the inner gutters with washi tape here's like a beach theme one and sunglasses these were all washi samples that were like maybe a dollar or I like bought them kind of like in bulk here's a green one um, and I will just prepare these in advance and then just sit and do these and then when I'm ready I can just pop them kind of like from here to here or just archive the pages from here to here um, there's some feather washi this doesn't have any headers on them just because I have to order some new headers some more headers or just like make some so um, so that's kind of like how I do things. Um, here is some more, and some of them I have the backs printed and some of them I don't. Um, I don't really kind of worry too much about that, but that's it's basically how and what I do. Um, and you know, I I really like the Kiki K binders. I think that they're really great, but they're just huge. <laughs> they're huge and they're heavy. And um, I am always, trying to lighten my load and not carry too much you can see just the difference and um you know the kiki k you can carry two pens if you want to in there here's a fountain pen from planning lab actually she gave that to me it's like a rack and then the favorite kind of ink joy pens um so you can it has an elastic pen like you can hold two pens in there but I honestly, this is just too big and too heavy for me to carry around on the regular. I don't need to have all my pages all at once. Um, I can do things a little bit more in a concise fashion, so I like to try and do that. Um, and it's taken me a while to kind of get to this point where I can kind of plan a little bit more lightly or just like travel light, I guess you could say. Um, but doing planning like this, it really works for me. It's pretty straightforward. I have a lot written down. But for me, something that helps me to stay in planner peace and just kind of like remember things like me to be able to make the plans and then remember what I wrote down, it helps for me to do things like write a lot. So, um, so that's pretty much it. That's how I'm doing planning and staying in the planner piece. And that's my setup, which is, which is different than how I had it before. So hope you enjoyed this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's not a DIY video, but I kind of feel like it's a little bit of like a DIY planning video. Um, and I, as I like mentioned in the intro, and then as I kind of like talked about extensively about my planner and my planner pages and everything, and like the planner sticker love down I did, I just really like planning. I don't know what it is about paper planning, it really helps me. Um, 
something that I have struggled with all my life is adult, well, not adult, because <laughs> that would mean that it wasn't all my life. Anyway, I have managed like um, ADHD and then even just challenges with just like everyday sort of anxiety, just trying to juggle everything. Um, and I am now like a work out of the home mom um, and stay at home mom and a homeschool mom. So my life has changed considerably since when I, when I first kind of um, got got into planning a little bit more seriously um, with some of the first videos that I showed here on this channel when I was in the classroom doing kind of like the classroom teacher thing. And um, you know, my life has changed, but the fact that I really enjoy planning and planning really works for me, um, that hasn't changed. I really, really love planning. I really believe in it. I think it's a great, um, it's a great approach to trying to just figure out the daily details of life and to help you kind of feel like you have a good strong footing no matter what life kind of throws at you. Um, I found that uh, my planner piece is very strongly connected to my life piece and there's been a lot of um, discussion I think just amongst the planner community so that's just like people who are also really enthusiastic about planning like me. Um, but there's a lot of discussion and talk like a lot of videos where people say I don't think planner piece exists and in all honesty I think that I think it does exist. I think that everything is a matter of perspective and usually what it comes down to is if your planner's not working for you, if the approach for planning isn't working for you, then just make adjustments. It's not that big of a deal. Sometimes the adjustment that you can make is um, a decidedly small thing like what your planner looks like, like going from vertical planning to horizontal planning or changing your binder um, if you're like kind of a seasonal living sort of a person or just simplifying your planner style, maybe trying out something new, maybe you've been doing something that is very, very regimented and very um, just kind of straight up and down and straightforward and you find that you need to do something that's a little bit more flexible and fluid, maybe like bullet journaling. Um, or maybe you're finding that you, you need a daily planning sheet instead of like weekly or monthly or maybe Maybe you just need a to-do list. I mean, there's so many different ways that planning can be done and so many adjustments that can be made. And there's just no reason why to think that like, um, if planning's not working for you, that you should abandon it altogether. Um, as I've mentioned in kind of other planning videos that I've done, like kind of getting started in a personal planner or using multiple planners, I don't necessarily think of planning as being something that's a static thing that's not changing. I think of it as something that's like evolving and it's almost like project planning where it has a fluid quality to it and um, you can make adjustments as you need to, as, as uh, your life changes, as your needs change. Um, and I think that kind of the need for changing up things in your planner, it doesn't have to be seen as a negative thing. It could be a positive thing. Um, and I really enjoy planning. I really enjoy DIY planning, meaning um, kind of having inserts that require me to write in them. That to me makes a huge amount of difference. Another thing that makes a huge amount of difference is doing fun things like making things for my planner, uh, like making planner charms, and I have a DIY video on that, um, or making my own dividers, which I'm gonna be doing this weekend, so that's gonna be a video. Um, making dividers is really, really easy. Um, the fact that Michael's um, Recollections has come out with like all kinds of cool planner stuff now, um, like planning has become um, I guess you could say a hobby as much as just like a really strongly supported interest by just the general public. Um, but I, you know, I have plans this weekend. I'm going to be meeting up with a good planner friend of mine and we're going to be talking planners as much as like planner stickers and other stuff. And I know that maybe is a little bit weird, but, um, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like a common interest that I found with other people that I share that I really love. Um, my husband sometimes jokes with me and dorks, dorks around with me a little bit about like how into planning I really am, but he really appreciates it because it helps me to kind of stay the course of me achieving goals that I have, um, or getting things done around the house, or just generally me feeling like I kind of, um, I kind of have it together, even if I don't like look like I have it together, I guess is the best way to put it. I don't know. I mean, I don't necessarily think I have it together. But, um, but my husband knows how much planning means to me and he really appreciates that, like just the, I guess you could say like the passion or just the excitement I have for it. So he supports that same as I support him. He's a professional chef and he supports like my interest in like learning how to cook and stuff like that. So, so anyway. So that's it for this video. And I really, really hope that you enjoyed seeing 
my planner setup and how I'm trying to make um, planning work for me versus me working for it. Um, not that there's any, I don't think that there's any issue with spending a great deal of time like in your planning, kind of doing planning, memory planning, however it is that you like to do it. Um, I think that my only challenge is when I start getting to the point where I'm spending too much time planning, too much time like in my planner and not enough time like living out the plans, that's for me when I don't have planner peace. That's for me, that's that's when like um, my planning or my plans are disruptive to like my life plans, like the things that I'm trying to do, things I'm trying to get accomplished. So, so that's a little bit of my spiel. And um, I'll do another planner update, kind of like as things change, as things evolve. And um, I share kind of planning tips a little bit like along the way on my Instagram, on my personal Instagram, as much as like I have a, just like a planner devoted Instagram, like for real, I do. Um, just cause I know that some people don't wanna be inundated with like all the planning stuff that I really like to do, but. Anyway, so all of my contact information is in the description of this video. Um, if you really enjoy this video or just like my daily videos, because I do daily videos, um, or if you want to see more planner stuff or more DIY stuff, make sure you hit the red button and subscribe. And um, please feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Um, the inserts that I showed you here, some of them are available, some of them are not available yet. Um, I've had people ask me, because they've seen my other planning videos that I've done, if and when certain inserts are going to be available, and I'm working to make all of the inserts that I've ever shown in any video available. But if there's a particular insert that you really, really like that isn't available yet, then you can just contact me and we can just make kind of... Um, just like one-on-one -on -one kind of arrangements for you to just like buy them in a little bit of like a reserve or like a custom listing on Etsy or or otherwise. Um, I do kind of um, like one-on-one -on -one sort of counsel or advising on planner setup. And even though I sell planner inserts, I don't necessarily advise people always to use my inserts just because um, I'm a teacher and I know that everybody's needs, their learning needs, their processing needs, just their planning needs are different. And so I, what I'll usually do is, is take people through a really easy kind of diagnostics interview. And then um, I have an extensive amount of um, knowledge about what's on the planner market, just the different styles and things, just because I'm a teacher. And I used to help my, my, uh, my students do this, my high school students. So um, I just love planning and I love to share my love for it. So, so anyway, so <laughs> if you're interested in seeing more videos about planning, because there's going to be some videos about planning or DIYs or just other sorts of videos, like when I attempt to rewire or not rewire, but just change the light switch in my bathroom, I'm like really going to try and do that. You guys can all laugh at me or not. I don't know. I think girls can use power tools. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing that video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and I will see you in my next video. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today online, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you later. Bye.